Hello, this is Mighty Owl. We're having some mighty fun at the zoo. Who knew all these animals could teach us so much about math? We're going to solve some pretty big subtraction problems today, so buckle up. But first, let's review. Pay attention to the story to figure out the order of the numbers. Then, line up the place value correctly. If we can subtract 30 minus 10, we can also subtract larger numbers too. Remember to focus on one place at a time. Oh, cool! Here's the bear enclosure. Bears lose a lot of weight during hibernation. Uh, that's their long winter sleep. One bear weighed 547 pounds and then lost 102 pounds during hibernation. How much did the bear weigh after hibernating? This is a subtraction problem because the bear lost weight. So we can subtract 102 from 547. Each place value aligned. You can see that the 7 and the 2 are aligned in the 1's place. Now just like when subtracting two digit numbers, you always start with the 1's place. Always, always, always. 7 minus 2 is 5. That's right. Write 5 in the 1's place. Now we move over to the 10's place. 4 minus 0 is still 4. So we write 4 in the 10's place. Finally, subtract the digits in the 100's place. 5 minus 1 is 4. Write 4 in the 100's place. 547 minus 102 is 445. After hibernating, the bear weighed just 445 pounds. Nice work! Oh, check this out! Hawks! Hawks can fly really far when they migrate. Last year, a group of hawks flew 174 miles one week. In the next week, they flew 267 miles. How many more miles did they fly the second week than the first week? Now in this problem, we're comparing, and that means we'll use subtraction. We want to know how many more miles were flown in the second week. So, we start with that number, 267, and subtract the number of miles in the first week, 174. Now each place is aligned. Let's use our base 10 blocks for this one too. It'll help us see better what's happening when we subtract. Alright, here are 200 plates, 6 10 sticks, and 7 unit cubes to represent 267. As always, start by subtracting the 1's. 7 minus 4 is 3. Next, subtract the 10's. 6 minus 7 is... Wait a minute! There aren't enough 10's to subtract 7, so we need to regroup. Just like when there weren't enough 1's. Well, you can do the same thing here with the 100's and the 10's. 100 is 10 10's. So, take 100 plate and exchange it for 10 10 sticks. Now we have 100 plate left. Show that in the equation by crossing out the 2 and writing a little 1 up here. There you go! We have 16 10 sticks. Show that in the equation by crossing out the 6 and writing a little 16 above. Now we have 16 10's. Enough to subtract 7 10's. So, 16 minus 7 is 9. There is 100 plate left and we need to subtract 1. Well, that leaves us with no hundreds plates. Since that is the last digit we're subtracting, we don't need to use 0 the hero. We don't write anything in the hundreds place. 267 minus 174 equals 93. We did it! Now let's go back to the problem to remember what the number 93 represents. The problem asks, how many more miles did the hawks fly the second week than the first week? Oh, right. So the hawks traveled 93 more miles in the second week. Nice work. Oh my gosh. Woo, these gorillas are huge. At the beginning of the week, the zoo had 945 pounds of gorilla food. Now they have 674 pounds of gorilla food left. How much have the gorillas eaten? Since some food was eaten, there's now less food. So we need to subtract to find out how much was eaten. Let's use our place value chart. 
The gorillas started with 945 pounds of food, and now 674 pounds are left. So we subtract 945 minus 674 to figure out how much was eaten. 945 has nine hundreds, so we'll write a nine here in the hundreds place. 40, that's four groups of 10. So a four in the tens place. And five, that's five ones. So we write a five in the ones place. And now for the number we're subtracting. The zoo has 674 pounds of food left. That's six hundreds, seven tens, and four ones. Starting in the ones place, like always, we do five minus four, which leaves us with one. We write a one in the ones place. Next, four minus seven tens. Aha, uh -huh. we don't have enough tens to subtract again. We're gonna need to regroup. Remember, 100 is the same as 10 tens. The number 945 has nine hundreds, so taking one of those hundreds to regroup leaves us with just eight hundreds. We can exchange this 100 for tens, and now we have 14 tens. But we would never write 14 in the tens place. We're just borrowing some tens from the hundreds place to help us solve our problem. Now we have enough to subtract seven. And 14 minus seven is seven. So write a seven in the tens place. Lastly, subtract the hundreds. Remember, we have just eight hundreds now. Eight minus six is two. So write a two in the hundreds place. So the gorillas ate 271 pounds of food this week. Wow, they must have been really hungry. Great job today. You learned to use your knowledge of place value to solve three digit subtraction problems. We used base 10 blocks and place value charts as our tools and made sure to keep our work organized. And you learned how to regroup 100 into tens when you didn't have enough tens to subtract. Remember, you have lots of different tools you can use and you get to choose what will help you the most for each problem. See you soon, mighty math friends.